Yo, what is going on guys? It's Crypto TMG back with a brand new video. And yes, it's here guys, the new DLC with the GT2s. Today, I'm actually going to be covering the GT3s though because pretty much everyone is covering the GT2s. And I just want to talk about the balance so far of where the cars are at the moment. I feel like at the moment it's looking pretty decent in terms of BOP. We haven't seen the full potential of all the cars yet, but from what I've seen, the cars seem to be within a couple of attempts around here. Um, until the real aliens get on the start hammering the laps in, we're not going to actually know though what the, the true gap is when we see the maximum performance on each car. But at the moment, I think it's promising. At least, at least we can rest assured we know that LFM, AOR, they will come up with a custom BOP if the BOP is all over the place. So hopefully we can um, get something decent going there. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get stuck more into the track and the cars and tell me what you guys think of the track so far. So guys, as of right now, the fastest time I have seen is a 27.2 and that was done in a BMW. Now, I'm pretty sure by the time this video goes out, people will probably have gone maybe a tad quicker. But I think by the time everyone gets up to speed with this track, you're going to see people dropping 26.8s and 26.9s, which is insane times. At the moment, for me personally, haven't been able to break into the 27s yet because you sort of have to decide what you want to do with the setup, man. Are you going low downforce? Are you going high downforce? What are the benefits of each? I think maybe setups that are sort of made for maybe Spa or Kota may work around this track because you have two different sections that are completely different. You need the straight line speed, but then once you get to the last sector, you need um, you need the downforce. So the very best drivers are going to be able to tiptoe their way around the last sector if they are running a little bit lower downforce. But for me personally, this is going to be a great track, probably one of the best tracks on the game in terms of racing, in terms of battling. Um, I can see this track being insane in the wet and you know, most people, Red Bull Ring has always been a decent track. So I'm excited. I'm happy as hair. I, I wasn't actually expecting the Red Bull Ring. I was actually expecting us to get like Jeddah or something crazy, but we got the Red Bull Ring again. Kunos sort of surprised us. What, what do you guys think about that, man? A lot of the times in the past, they sort of don't really, you know, communicate with us. They don't give us information. So a lot of the time we don't actually know exactly what is coming. Now that may be a great surprise, but at the same time for us content creators as well, it's, it's less things for us to talk about in the build up for something new coming to the game. So in that aspect, I kind of like to know what, what is happening, what's going on. Um, I remember back in the day, we got Imola out of absolutely nowhere. We just got Imola, <laughs> like no one was expecting it. But, you know, I'm not going to complain. It's a new track, which is I prefer a new track to new cars, bro. I know most people are going to be covering the, the GT2s. But for me personally, the most important thing is the track. It's another track for us to race on. Um, and I think it will be good, man. I think it will be good. A couple of little tips. This corner right here that you've seen on the screen on your out lap, you want to make sure you don't run wide on that corner at all, because if you do, when you when you go to start your your next lap, it actually invalidates your lap. Not even at the last corner, the, the penultimate corner on the on the exit. Make sure you just keep all four wheels within the white lines and then start your lap because otherwise you're going to get your lap cancelled. Even if you weren't speeding, OK, you're going to get your lap cancelled. And trust me, it's frustrated me so many times already. But I've been driving around in the Aston. I've tried the Ferrari. Um, I'm probably going to try like the Lambo today, the Porsche. And so far, what I can say is lap times seem pretty close, man. Um, I watched I watched Tortellini's video. I think McCormack did a lap in the Porsche. They did a um, they did a track guide, and that I'm sure was a low 27 also. And I've seen people doing low 27s online already. So I think at the moment that is the that is the standard for the esports guys. They probably will get a tad quicker over the next couple of weeks as people get used to the track more. So. I think if you're if you're a top tier driver, you want to be sort of in the 27s at the very least, man. Let's say between the front of um, a, a tier one field and the back of a tier one field is probably going to be about a second. So you, you definitely want to be in the 27s. Me at the moment, my fastest time is at 28.3 and that was in achieved in the Aston. But I'm still working out what to quite do with the setup. I did actually change some things. I was running pretty much the bog standard, you know, um, the bog standard esports setup but i actually went and downloaded my kota setup and straight away i found time so i don't feel like it's just gonna be you know using the 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 
game breaking setups i think you're gonna have to tinker with some things to actually get the lap time out especially because for me a lot of the lap time is in the middle to last sector man that is where the majority of your lap time is also in turn one um you definitely want to be getting a good exit in turn one because it literally makes or breaks your lap um one thing i will say as well what i've noticed unfortunately guys this is another one of those tracks where low tc is is a massive difference man a massive difference if you're running if you're someone who has to run like even two or three tc forget about it you're, you're definitely not getting a lap time majority of fast laps i've seen people are switching in between zero tc and one tc so literally the tc is not kicking in for for a lot of these guys if you're someone who was used to playing like f1 games back in the day um this is gonna have to be right up your alley because you're not seeing um the the normal laps where you can just drive around the lap you're gonna have to switch your tc you're gonna have to set up some hotkeys and make sure you know you're able to change things during the lap also i would say probably you want to get a little bit used to you know rearwards brake bias i feel like you're gonna have to run your brake bias a lot more to the rear now it's going to be interesting to see how it all works in sort of longer races what cars kill tires and stuff like that we're not too sure what that's going to look like yet because i doubt anyone's done any real race practice but um so far man as i said the things i've picked up on is rear brake bias um low tc settings also you kind of have to get used to driving pretty much how we drive Mazzano, man a lot of the car is off the track in the braking zones um you want to use up all of the track best thing to do is you need to make your setup so it's able to nail this first curb on the right hand side right here once you can do that without running too wide you can just about put your wheels on the yellow sausage curb and that's going to set you off for a, a good start to your lap but as i said guys man it's one of those tracks where you have to be sort of over the line in the braking zones you have to use every part of the track sort of what you see in sort of the f1 games similar here um and just just that that foot control man you, you need to make sure you're able to control the throttle because you're either going to be running zero tc or one tc and i'm i'm not happy that it's like that but at the end of the day to go quick that's how it is man you, you ain't gonna go quick without running extremely low tc settings man so um that's what i can say for you guys at the moment the gt3 class so far doesn't look too bad there's been a few cars that i can say a lap them within a couple of attempts and um it should produce some good racing hopefully as well kunos um kunos have bop some of the older cars like the bentley and stuff like that and if they haven't hopefully lfm aor they can go in and do some custom bop at the moment i've been driving in the custom um I've been driving in the, the BOP performance server for LFM and that's just to help them decide what they're going to do with the, the balancer performance going forward. At the moment, I would say the fastest cars I've seen, um, the AMG, the BMW, I think the McLaren was pretty quick as well. And the McLaren seems super fast in the last sector. Um, but for me so far, it's been the front engine cars that seem to have maybe a, a little bit of a... Um, advantage but we shall see guys going forward but anyway guys tell me your experience with the red bull ring i for one i'm enjoying the track a lot but we haven't been this excited about a track since we probably got kiel army man kiel army was a great track and when we first got that i couldn't stop doing it man kind of the same with this also valencia was pretty fun but i think red bull ring is a track that's universally known so a lot more people will probably enjoy it tell me what you guys think also um Tell me what you think of the GT2s. I didn't want to cover the GT2s because pretty much everybody's doing that. And I just wanted to focus on the GT3s, which in a week or so's time is going to go back to being the main focus, man. But anyway, guys, it's Cryptic TNG. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.